Yo, what is good, world? It's your boy, Calvin Leroy King, the one, two, this earth. And as always, I got my lovely co hosts with the most by my side, Miss Reese PC, the one and only. Hey, y'all. And this is This, That, and the Third, the lifestyle show that gives you life. Literally. Literally. We want to thank y'all for tuning in and turning up with us on another dope episode of This, That, and the Third. We are the Undisputed King and Queen of Chicago Podcast. So y'all be sure to check us out on SoundCloud, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram, YouTube. YouTube. IG, well, IG is Instagram. Uh, uh, iTunes. iTunes. Yep. All that. And you just search this, that, and the third with the third spell I, 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 like the Roman numeral three. And uh, we're going to be getting the show in the best fashion we know how. But first and foremost, shouting out our sponsors, as always, Twin Media Group and Freelance Academy. What up, us? <laughs> <laughs> and then also, man, we just want to jump right into it, man, this week, man. We all about efficiency here on this, that, and the third. So we just want to get into our own personal business before we hit some oh. of these hot topics, right? So let's go into um, maybe your weekend review and your weekend preview. What are some things that stood out from this past week? Some things you might be looking forward to for the weekend. Um, the weekend, you know what I look forward to on Saturday? Not having to get up early in the morning and drop anybody off at school. That, that sleep in. Mm. What time do y'all have to actually be up to get the babies to school on time? We should be up at oh, 6. Yeah. What time does that alarm get set for before you snooze, snooze, snooze? Well, okay, so I set one for 5.50 and 6.05. Mm-hmm. I don't get them up to 6.20. I'm like, yeah, yeah sleep yeah. in a little so bit. Precious. They look so precious when they're sleeping. All right, we're going to have to start. Okay, right. that's okay, cool. I'm going to cut and stop this. That's Yo, fine. You muted the mic. I did. I, I just noticed that your mic was muted even though I can hear you. You what? Right. Yeah, now it's off. It's off mute. You know, you now it is. Yeah, I just hit it again. My fault. Yeah, it's fine. I bad. That's why we went five minutes early so we can do that test run for y'all. <laughs> on the real. Charlene, thank you for tuning in. Hey, whoa, in the building. You better get here, girl. Your show waiting on you. Hey. Larissa is in the building. All right, come on, y'all. Oh, we ready? We ready? My fault. Right. Playing this shit. Here we go. Three, two, one, and action. Yo, what is good, world? It's your boy, Calvin Leroy King, the third of this, that, and the third. And as always, I got my lovely co-hosts with the most of Miss Reese Peace, the one and only. Hey, y'all. By my side, as always. And again, we thank y'all for tuning in and turning up on another dope episode of This, That, and the Third, the lifestyle show that gives you life, literally. literally. And we are Cal and Reese, the undisputed king and queen of Chicago podcast. Now, we thank y'all for tuning in and turning up with us. And we're going to begin the show in the best fashion we know how by shouting out our sponsors, Twin Media Group and Freelance Academy. What up, us, as always. Right. And then always, we want to just jump right into it. In the spirit of efficiency, let's get into some of your business, man. Let's start with our weekend review and our weekend preview. So what are some things you might be looking forward to this weekend, and what were some highlights from this past week? Um, So I'm looking forward to some sleeping in on Saturday. Indeed. Like I was saying, I have to get the kids up about 6 o'clock because their school starts at 7.30. And how far is that commute? Once you do get out the door, how long does it take to get them to the door of the school? Okay, if I'm driving speed limit. Mm, which is probably not. <laughs> it's 20 minutes. 20 minutes, okay. But, you know, I speed up a little right, here. Right, right. So I get there you about say 15 Lakeshore, minutes. Right? Yeah. Okay. So In not, Lakeshore, if you got the right lane, you can get there. It's not bad, right? You can right? get to the top. So they get to school. I try not to get them as late as 7.45. Okay. That's so what happens if they are late? Are they missing breakfast or are they missing instruction? Look, they go in, and as soon as they get in, y'all go get your breakfast, fellas. Yeah, right. we know what it is. It we know matter. what it is. So, yeah. Okay. It's not too bad, but um, Nehemiah passed his swim test. Congratulations, Maya. Right now he's going to be a junior lifeguard. Excuse me. Do, 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 do. Yeah. He, Baywatch head ass. He can save his brother. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but outside of that, uh, nothing too major. I did see game night. Okay. Hilarious. So that's the one with Will Ferrell? Jason Bateman. Oh, that one. Yeah, I haven't seen that one He's yet. A, What's the one I'm thinking about? Uh, The House. I'm thinking about The House. I saw that, too. That was kind of funny. Yeah, that, to was, me. that was I like funny. white people comedy, though. It was like funny. So, I like Jason Bateman. I do. And he's hilarious. You saw him in Ozark? Yes. I love his range. He can be serious Did you see him in and the seriously gift? funny. I didn't see that one. Watch that, because that definite is like completely opposite of right. what he normally plays. But Game Night was good. I did what, go what to platform? the movies. Oh, uh, you went? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think that's slow clap worthy. You ain't been to no, the show since last. I didn't. I thought you said I went to the movies. I didn't. I didn't. You know, I'm not going to go Continue. pay for game night. Continue. I had to go see Black exactly. Panther. I, mean, I was about to say, now. that was kind of no blasphemy. No discrimination. <laughs> okay, so you didn't go to the movies. I'm clear now. No, but it's Fire really stick? Good. Or? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Nice copy. <laughs> nice copy. Good quality copy. All right. Well, you can always bootleg white people movies. We don't really care about that. Um. So, just overall, you said that, what did you give it? One, two, or three? For game night? Yeah. A three. 
Nice little three. It was, it was Who co starred in that? It was some other heavy hitters oh, or medium it was. hitters. It was a couple of women, you know, that, I mean, but you have to like white See movies. them. Yeah, you got to yeah. see them and be like, oh, <laughs> sh her. Yeah. I got you. Okay. What about um, anything that you're looking forward to to the weekend? I, well, you know, uh, it's daylight savings or, yeah. We, I thought it was starting to get dark a little later. Later. So it goes back or it falls forward, right? Wait, no, go Spring back. Spring forward, fall back. Okay. So, yeah, we lose an hour Sunday. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happens out there. I just know it's spring forward, yeah, I don't so know what happens. So we lose an hour. So we get less sleep? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> I can't deal. I can't function. Y'all know me. I need my 12 hours, G. I need my 12 hours. So we're going to figure that out, man. Um, so that happens what time? So it's it's so, usually Sunday at 2 a.m. or something? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So yeah. 1.59 becomes 3 o'clock? Yep. Okay. Well, you heard oh, it here first on this and the third. Yeah, we, that's literally losing yeah. an hour, right? Um, for me, man, I think this past week, started a new gig, you know what I'm saying? I'm working right. in conjunction with a, a dope enterprise-sized nonprofit here in the city, and I'm missing with putting young people to work. Now, you know, young well, people are my passion. What you do. And all I got to do is be out here in the community cultivating relationships with businesses and enterprises that are looking to hire opportunity youth, with our, which are the ages of 18 to 24 years old. Okay. We train them. We get them matched up with the right employer, and then we make sure that we give them the support to be retained. So it's not no temp agency, it's a career path. So you help them throughout whatever challenges yeah, that may come up. Okay. Yeah. So that's what's up, man. That's and nice. uh, so far, so good. I spent 85% of my time in the community, out in the field, moving and shaking. So you know, like, my where cars, are my you? Office. Are you everywhere? I'm sure you have like a target area. Yeah, it's Chicago maybe? land area, but I would say primarily I'm south side with it. Okay. Primarily south side. Five minutes from the crib, the commute is lovely. I get to dress, <laughs> get to pull out my threads. I got a closet full of shit I ain't wore since I wore that shit. And uh, it's been working out, man. Getting up a little early, you know what I'm saying? Getting up a little early. I actually had some coffee today. Yeah, how was that? Nigga, I almost died. <laughs> it was too much for I almost like died. That. I was I like, know. what is this feeling? Because your energy level is already I there. I do not need coffee. I'm good with water. Yeah. If I could just give me a nice little bottle of water, you know, 10 seconds of drinking water, I'll be good. I don't really need coffee to pep me up. I'm already pepped up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, you yeah. just kind of need that initial like. Yeah, just maybe yeah. some splash of water in your yeah. face. And I was good. Uh, this weekend, King Kids all day. Okay, what we're talking about do? going, um, we was talking about going to iFly. Okay. We did like um, yeah, you fly indoor skydive. Yeah. Heard this shit is $70 per person for two minutes. No, okay, so it's not two minutes. It's not necessarily an activity you want to take with the kids mm. because it is so expensive. Yeah, they might um, not. It is $60, $70, but I Thought you get like two flies or thirty minutes. Uh, it's no. something like well, it can't be obviously it's not thirty minutes, but right, I think right. it's two flies. Two flies, okay. But because I I looked again because I was like, oh well, maybe me and my mom can go. Right. And it was a lot cheaper because of the deal. But for mm -hmm. kids, I was like, no. You was I'm like not. looking on Groupon or something. Yeah. Okay. So we ended up looking on Groupon. I think we're going paintballing. Okay. So now my dilemma is I'm taking two other young men and my son and obviously my queen. And I'm probably not gonna have her out there, so I'll probably have to stay on the sideline with her. Say. So I'm probably gonna take one of my young men, uh, one of my mentees, yeah. and let you know the, the boys have it, and I'll yeah. just be on the sideline with Callie. But uh, you know, paintballing is fun. Have you ever been? No, I'm. Yeah, does it hurt hurts. when you get? Yeah, okay. It hurts. <laughs> now it hurts, going. but it doesn't hurt like ah, I'm done. It hurts like ah, I don't want to get shot again. So now oh. you're just a little bit more alert and stuff like that. But my barber was telling me, shout out Gary over there at Brownsville Barber Salon. He was telling me that um, if you ever get shot like in the finger done really? like if you get hit in something that's just dangling versus a meaty part yeah nigga that shit hurt hurt so you know just so it's something watch. i won't be doing yeah clearly but that's about it for uh my weekend review and my weekend preview so now you ready to just jump into some uh, new news yeah. for all these new news let's uh let's it. kick it off with entertainment because i think that was kind of heavy this week would you agree yeah and uh what was the big event that took place this week obviously the oscars were sunday mm. um i didn't i didn't watch it on sunday i taped it in so that I can fast forward. Yeah, you're just so used to not being there in the moment. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Are the Oscars and the Academy Awards the same thing, or is that a different thing? Same thing. So the Academy Award Wars. goes to means you're winning an Oscar. Yep. Why is it called an Oscar in the first place? The, I, can't, I don't know. Okay. Who is the Academy? Is that the, like, group the, of individuals that vote. The voters? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. That's confusing to me. That, as, as a non-acting ass nigga, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It's just confusing. It's like, I thought the Academy Awards was one thing this whole time, and the Oscars was something really? totally different. Yeah. No, it's the same thing. It's like you don't win a Grammy and a Mammy. You know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> it's just a Grammy. You know <laughs> Like, it's no nickname for it. So if, if the Grammys were the Academy, mm -hmm. 
the great, you know, they could they could be the academy I if can. they wanted to. I guess. But so anyway. what was what were some? Um, we we didn't go over the nominations, but who were some heavy winners? Maybe you know, that stood out I, to you. Everybody black. It was, it was room for everybody black. I actually was not. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, because he's a little bit more eclectic when it comes to the films. Uh, so yeah, my some of the shit you was previewing, and I kind of knew you was leaning. My particular upset was, and I mean, I'm excited that he won, and it was for the culture, mm -hmm. right? So Get Out wins Best Original Screenplay. Can we slow clap Jordan yes, Peele in? Because he made Black History. <laughs> it was Women's History Month, but he made Black History. Yeah, so he, it, um, he was the first black writer to ever to win in that category, mm -hmm. which is phenomenal, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, but you know the movie that I was pushing for. Shape. No, the Shape billboards. of Water. Yes, I was. Billboard. I was. I was rooting. My favorite was Three Billboards, just because I think the writing was phenomenal, right. the acting was phenomenal, right. um, and the storyline. The storyline you said was dope, and I still haven't checked that one out or The Shape of Water. But I did hear that The Shape of Water is like a not watered down version, but like an updated version of Splash. It is. Yeah, Remember I, I, told you, I, saw I thought movie. you said a different movie, though, like a movie that wasn't Splash. Splash, yeah. when that girl unveiled her Here fin in the salt water in the bath. Right. I like Splash, <laughs> G. I did, too. I like Splash. But it's not that, because oh, okay. the one. It's that the, concept. Because the, the, the male is the creature. Yeah. So, okay, that's a little one, different. that's not that's going little, That was on Family Guy one time, and it was like his top was a fist. And yeah, it was like, oh, it, that's not what I was looking for. Don't get me wrong, Octavia Spencer did phenomenal in it. The it had a lot of good actors. I just thought the story was so like mm. Mm, left this you is wanting what more. You guys nominated. Now it's another movie that I did watch called Cold Skin. Cold or code? Cold. C O D E. C O L D. C O L D. Okay, skin. Skin. Okay, and it's about reptiles. It, and that's so, cold blooded. That's cold blooded. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm trying to catch. I am seeing. So it. no, but it's similar. It's a similar story. Mm -hmm. I just think the storyline is better. Right. If you've noticed, like, if there's a movie, let's say, Rush Hour, mm -hmm. you know, just for shits yeah. and giggles, it's a movie like Rush Hour, there's an Asian cop meets with an African-American cop, they yeah. go to go save this, you know, this mission. Right. If you really pay attention to the other movies that come out around that time, there'd be, like, spinoffs of that around the same time. Like, it won't be called Rush Hour, but it'll be called, like, Fast Traffic. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying? Speed yeah. Minute. You'd be like, yeah, man, this is the same. Yeah. yeah. But I, I've noticed that. Like, it's a it's a copycat industry. Yeah. So if you have something that works, works. they're going to take that Let's formula and put it on some other stuff yeah, with well, a different cast. Reinvent or recreate, you know, just yeah. do what But what about working. originality? Like, that's what my whole thing was. So that's with why I think out. this one, somewhat The Shape of Water, and even Get Out, the originality of it. Yeah. Um, so another big win was uh, Dunkirk. Did you see that? Now, no, I didn't, and that's the one that you've been <laughs> raving about as well. With the dude's face is the cover art. What was yeah, happening now? So that was a shoot 'em up, a, bang bang movie. That's a Christopher Nolan boat. film. Yeah, and so his crew always same crew. Gets, same yeah, crew. and, and like when Adam you watch Sandler. when you watch the Oscars and you see who wins for editing, who wins for sound, oh, it be them guys. It be the same be guys, people yeah. who won for Dark Knight, who mm -hmm. won for other movies that Chris that Nolan director. Directed, yeah. yeah, so they it's got a team. nice little formula. Okay, so that they won for editing and sound, which was. They should have won because it wasn't a lot of dialogue in that movie. I didn't even know you could win for sound. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but there are movies like back in the day that the score was better than the movie, like Superfly. Like <laughs> the nigga was just driving in the car for 30 minutes, <laughs> get to his destination, punch and they can get back in the car. You like, damn, this better be a good score. So look, so three billboards, uh, Best Supporting Actor won uh, Sam Rockwell, and then Best Actress Frances Dorman. Normandy won for that. So the two leads in the same movie won? The male one and female? female lead and the one male supporting. Supporting, okay. Yeah. So that so I was up, you know, I was happy. Okay. Um and guess who else won? Kobe Lee. Nobly. Kobe Bryant. Now, I like he has this an one. Oscar. I like this one because, you know, Kobe has a lot of accolades, not as many as he deserves, but there was like the little cartoon whatever thing. That he was like, like a little meme, but it was like more like a, a illustration. It was. No, no, I'm not talking about the movie. Okay. I'm talking about after he won, mm -hmm. he it was like a drawing or a cartoon drawing of him putting his Oscar or his Academy Award mm -hmm. next to all his basketball accolades. That was dope to me. Man. Well, I, I saw one that said, "But does LeBron have an Oscar?" <laughs> I'm just what? 
<laughs> what? This was his retirement. You know, people film. were like you know, still playing. comparing like. Did, did Space Jam know. get a damn Oscar? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, I believe I can fly. Might have got a <laughs> Grammy, so Jordan might have a, a Grammy. Well, come on, man. We never can just let greatness be greatness. I know. I know. Dog. So look. So the 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 great thing about Kobe. It was for uh, Best Short Film. It's mm. called Dear Basketball. Not just Best Short Film. Didn't it have the animated name in there? Didn't it say Best Animated Short Film? That's what I read. No. No? Okay. I best. Like well, maybe it was, I think it was Best, best animated, animated Short, short Film. film. Um, Dear Basketball. And he was the writer of that. Um, but when he came up to accept his award, he started off like, you know, I know as a basketball player, we're supposed to just shut up and dribble. Oh, that's fire. <laughs> Yeah. Because. It was it was definitely appropriate. Mm. It was well perceived by the audience. They got and it. And it was like on point. They got it. Yeah. I think it's easier to say those things after you're retired. If they oh, yeah, was, same plan. Yeah. He, he has nothing to that. lose. He, like Matt Barnes, very vocal these days about referees <laughs> and, and just the system of the NBA. It's very, it's very funny. Speaking of which, and I don't want to jump ahead in the sports too quick, but did you hear – you know, Matt Barnes got twins, and his baby mama was messing with Derek yeah. Fisher the whole night. All right. And she's one of the housewives or something, right? Used to be. Boom. So he wishes her happy birthday on Instagram. Like, hey, you know, despite our differences, I just wanted to make sure happy birthdays are, you know, celebrated. She was like, see you in court. And then it spiraled downward from there, man. How like, not to be a bitter baby mama. How not to be mama. a bitter baby mama. Move Coming on. 2020, yeah, 2019, 2020 right or now, soon. Need, y'all need now. it now. <laughs> Are you bitter, baby mamas, man? Get some. What's the opposite of bitter? Sour? The opposite of bitter isn't bitter sour? Ah. <laughs> I okay. mean, I'm just That's a reverse fact. That's a reverse fact. But whatever the opposite of bitter is, get that. Maybe it's uh, Sweet. Tit titber. The Shut opposite up. of bitter. I don't know. So, um, Coco wins for best animated film. Now, that's like the Hispanic theme. It's really good. Dead or Dead. Haven't seen it. I watched it. Haven't with seen the it. Boys. The girls have seen it. The girls seen it. They loved it. Oh, it has a little bit of that. Yeah, a little, that. Cha -cha -cha. Yeah, little, little bit of that. Yeah. And they study in Spanish in high school, so they was really in tune with I think it was actually part of their project for you know, was it? high school. For the it, was really, it was a really good, it's a really good film. And yeah. they won for it also won for best original song. Right. The writers, the writers who wrote the song also wrote uh, Let It Go. Oh, uh, Frozen. frozen. Mm -hmm. You know what that actually reminds me of? Not Frozen in the song, but the theme of Coco. Uh -huh. Do you remember, um, I think it's called El Tigre? It was like a, this nigga's dad was a wrestler, like the Mat Matarachi, the, the Matarachi. wrestlers that, that wear the, ma the, ma the mask, not the guitar playing okay. dudes. But he, his dad was a wrestler. He yeah. was a superhero. He was a little kid, a little Mexican, a little Hispanic kid. I had a cartoon called this like El Tigre. Yeah, no, I don't. You don't remember that? I don't. El Tigre. Yeah. Okay, well, never mind. Maybe I just made this shit up. Okay, um, moving forward. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, so, also, I meant to talk to you last week about HBO uh, original documentary. Okay, that It was dope. called Traffic Stop. Mm. It was nominated for an Oscar. Was that about uh, Philando Castro? No, it was about, um, it, was, it was a female, and I cannot remember her name right now, but she got stopped in Baltimore. And. She was probably the size of Nolani, right? Ah, little, little. And this officer flipped her out of the car. F I mean, like, was choking her. It was just, it was way too much watching it. For, I was failure so to long. signal sounds so like she didn't signal. She did. It was, a, it was one of those stupid things. Mundane so ass violations. When she got off the expressway, she was actually pulling in and parking. So she was parked. And wow. the officer was like, um, you know, I need to see a light. She was like, I'm stopped. I'm going to the store. How can you stop me? Like, can I'm you stop stopped. me? You can't stop a stopper. And, you, you know, he, he proceeded to say, yeah, I need you to get your license and all that. And it just went left, like completely left. And then when three other cars came, he was like, yeah, you know, she came at me. Mm. It was like, dude, don't you know you on tape? Right. And she was, she's so little. So it was a really dope Was she a little feisty like Jada Pinkett she and got damn it, low down dirty um, shame? No, she wasn't fighting back. She was just scared, shocked, and like it's fight or flight at that point, like panicking, like oh my god! Yeah. But she wasn't like swinging on them or nothing. She, I mean, she was a twig, yeah. so small. But I was just shocked to see that it was nominated for an Oscar. Cops be on that, and I was actually just in this trauma informed care workshop at mm. University of Chicago earlier today, and they were talking about how there's cultural differences and cultural. I forgot the term they used, but they said you can never be culturally competent unless you're from that culture. So it's like more like culturally understanding, like I'm at least trying to understand. Well, bam. Nevertheless, they said in certain cultures, it's dis considered disrespectful 
to look somebody in the eye versus in Western society where it's kind of disrespectful to not look somebody in the so eye. Like, um, but it seems like cops, if you look them in the eye, they're like, nigga, what? So I get what you're saying, and I know like in certain Asian community, I don't know if it's the Japanese, well, Chinese, bowing, I'm not sure. The, the bowing cultures. But a lot of times they don't um, look you in the eye because it is a, a sign Sounded of disrespect. disrespect. Yeah. But cops, that's Fuck a different you story. Yeah. I, you know, you for most part, I think people grow up raised, in, raised thinking that you look somebody in the eye, that's a show of respect, right. show that you're listening. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not know in these else. cases. Not. But when you look at somebody, or they used to, or start trying to transition out of looking at somebody as less than human, I don't want yeah. no dog staring at me. Like, nigga, what you looking at, dog? Yeah, I think they already come with that stuff. Yeah. So anyway. Tiffany Haddish. Yeah, so this was my question. So for those of y'all that did not see the Oscars, a.k.a. the Academy Awards, <laughs> Tiffany Haddish, I believe that's what she had on the big flowing gown. She was outside on the red carpet. She's yeah. invited. Everybody else that's on the red carpet is invited. And she takes it upon herself to kind of like kick off her, I think she kicked off her shoes and jumped over the rope to go greet Meryl Streep. Yeah. She did, she did a lot. She did a lot, and there was a lot of backlash saying how that makes us look bad as a people, how she be doing the most, how people wish she would kind of reel it in a little bit and not um, validate what Monique has already kind of claimed. Like, man, y'all ain't treating us right, y'all treat us as less than, da da da. And then they were kind of like, well, look how y'all act. You know what I'm saying? What's your opinion on that? Because I have my own. So I did watch that little clip, mm -hmm. and she honestly just was excited. She looked like a, a fan. A fan of Meryl Streep. Who fan. isn't, though? Because she's the best actress. She's dope. Like, and it don't even have nothing to do with race. Meryl was so, hey, she was welcoming, she spoke, she ain't shun her off. I thought, I, I, it, the, brief, the interaction looked brief. I didn't listen to it with value or nothing. Yeah, so it how was, was her brief. reaction? How it was Meryl's reaction? It was like, she was smiling. She was like, hey. I get it. I get but I mean, she was, also, me. she was also being pushed to continue yeah, to go yeah, down yeah, the carpet. Yeah, you're but busy on the carpet. she didn't ignore her. She right, acknowledged right. her, they hugged, and then she kept it going. Um, I think, y'all gotta understand, Tiffany, she knew money, okay? Hasn't didn't didn't Migos before. have some slip ups and some? Yeah, you know it, it's, it's a learning curve. It's a learning yeah, curve. Yeah, but I was tripping on people talked about the fact that she wore the same dress to multiple high profile yeah. events. What do you think about that? Because I'm the same clothes ass nigga. <laughs> I would turn the sweater inside but out and act like I didn't not wear it yesterday. On TV. At that uh, level. We're on TV. You know we're on YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> we're on UTV. <laughs> right, and I haven't yet to see you wear the same thing. Yeah, I be from my move. I be from my move. I got a plethora of shit to choose from. Okay, but so I'm just I saying. Think, I don't think nothing's wrong with it. Right. Girl, do your thing. But she's a comedian. Is that not funny? Is that not part of the act? I don't think like, it's a part of the act. Saw, I just think she liked that dress and she went away. What if you saw yeah. Eddie Murphy wear, like, the, the <laughs> raw outfit twice? Would you be like, uh, Eddie, I could have swore <laughs> I saw you in that well, one, 20 years ago. Well, one, it's a red leather suit. Yes, so it is. So you have to pick But I'm sure choose. her gowns are kind of one this time, was one a and really done. really simple white. Oh, okay. Dress. It wasn't the one it that she wore during no, the... No, it wasn't like big and okay. extravagant. So, I mean, whatever. My thing is this. What you want, dope or dog food? Because you could say, man, y'all live frivolously in Hollywood and y'all yeah. wear something that's expensive we can't even afford and then you throw it away or discard it or probably donate it because we don't know what they do with yeah. it. But you can either do that or you can reuse it. Like, dude, be humble. But a lot of times, uh, designers come to you because they want you to wear yeah. your clothes. So I just think she's not there yet. Right. Maybe people haven't reached out to her. Right. So, I mean, in time, she'll get there. Keep that name, girl. Yeah, and she did that on the Oscars, actually. Gee. Now, this is my thing. Her now, skit, the skit was cute. It was yeah. funny. The crowd loved her. So I think that, That's my thing. Like, she, well. She's a comedian, right? If I forget the girl name that was the... That was with her. No, no, no. The white girl that sold out Madison Square Garden. She's a little chunky. Amy Schumer. Um, Amy Schumer. She's more physical and like she's like the modern day Roseanne, in my opinion. She is. So if she was to go somewhere and say, "Man, I'm wearing a hoodie, I'm wearing some 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 pedal pushers, I'm finna go barefoot or in flip flops," people would be like, "Ah, she's so silly, she's so funny." But when we do it, it's like we ghetto and we out of place and we don't know how to act and we classless. Like I think that's a double standard. And reason being, I was watching a TED talk. It was a TED education talk, matter of fact. Mm -hmm or at least at that same uh, trauma-informed workshop. And there was this educated sister. I think she was a Delta. She just came off as a Delta. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> old school. Uh, they said she actually died recently. But she was an old school teacher, very about the kids, very about, you know what I'm saying, moving the needle, and every ch child has the opportunity to learn as uh -huh. long as they feel that you are in it with them versus right. being on opposition sides, opposing sides. She was saying things like, bet not, gonna, finna, who out the band, but she was also probably a Ph.D., 
Same type of stuff, but because the arena in which she's in, because she's an educator and not an entertainer, we give her a pass. It's like, man, we just talk different. We just walk different. We just act different, G. And until we get comfortable with that, we'll never stop judging each other. Because it's not like white people are coming out and saying, Tiffany no. Haddish doing too much. It's, it's sisters saying, saying so-called sisters saying she's doing too much. She need to reel it in. You need to step it up. Or just you be confident with how you are. Be, be humble. See, I think a lot of people would have wanted to do what she did and, and meet Meryl Streep and jump, you know, and say all those and things. And don't have that opportunity. And don't have the courage yeah. to do it and don't have that gut to do it. And she does. So, hey. And I did hear this, closing out entertainment. I did hear this. Anytime that you, I ain't going to say disagree with somebody, but most often when you don't like somebody, like, man, I just don't like you, it's because they represent something about you that you need to love more. Uh -huh, I agree. So we're going to close on that note. That wraps us really up good. for entertainment. Man, I be like coming gym. with the yeah. Yeah, little gems and whatever. Um, so we're going to go ahead and wrap up entertainment, man. We thank y'all for tuning in and turning up with us on another dope episode of This, That, The Third. It's your boy Calvin, D. Roy King, The Third. My co-host is with the Moses. Ms. Reese, peace of the one and only. And this is the lifestyle show that gives you life, literally. literally. And we are the undisputed king and queen of Chicago podcast. Check us out. <laughs>